Hey guys, I'm Timothy West, Principal Engineer at Unity, and uh, as my colleague Dio just mentioned, we've been working on scene editing tools in VR for VR. I hear some of you guys might be interested in this. So, I've actually got something to show you. I'm going to put on the headset right now. Good thing it makes you look real cool. All right, let me grab these. Take a couple steps back. Here we go. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, as you can see, we've already set up the scene a little bit here. This is the modern loft scene by Polybox. You can actually buy it right now on the Unity Asset Store. We've also got some interface elements here. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But let's get started. We're looking at the left hand here. As you can see, I actually have my assets in 3D, turn style mode. Sorry, shaky guys. A little shaky today. All right. So I'm going to start off by just adding sofa in the scene. Voila. And I selected it. <laughs> right? OK. Don't worry. There's one. OK. So. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, we have the gizmo in VR. Just move it along like so, move it over here, da da da. I'm gonna move this back a bit, like so. If you look at the inspector here, you can see it's actually updating with the information. I wanna talk about this a second. So, this looks like Unity, but it doesn't look exactly like Unity. We don't just want to pull in all of the Unity windows into VR. I get it, that can be useful right now, but we really want to rethink what is the best way to work in VR? We're really bullish on this. We think it's going to be a great experience. So we're trying to think about what is the usability here. And we're still just getting started with this. We're still in wireframe mode. But we're really trying to be thoughtful about how we build out good, useful tools for you. And as you can see, this is connected to your controller right here. But long term, the, the vision is that this should be just as customizable as Unity is in 2D. So you should be able to pull off assets, put them where you want, put windows where you want, make a little utility belt. So all of this, we've already built the API. We're just building out, figuring out what the best default view is for you, and then you can take and run with it. All right, going to add in a couple more things here. Just build out the scene really fast. I wish I lived here. It's pretty awesome. Let's get this over a bit. Let's get that over a bit. OK, so as you can see, we have joystick locomotion right now. Long term, we're going to have blink locomotion. And we also have a couple of cool ideas up our sleeve for you being able to move around a scene really quickly and manipulate things really quickly. People ask us a lot. I get a lot of questions like, why build this at all, right? Unity is fast. It's true. But if you're using Unity now, you already know the value of being able to manipulate 3D objects in general and actually seeing what your users are going to see. So being able to just pick this up and move it a little bit, especially if you don't know Unity well, if you're a director, for example, or if you're a set designer, it's just magic. It's easy. It's awesome. All right. So I set up a little bit of the scene here. But this is VR, and we can do what we want because there's no weather. So I'm going to add some awesome art here. OK, so scooting a little bit here, you see that you've got the basic rotation and act plane uh, manipulation. Oh, sorry. This is plane manipulation. This is kind of a new thing. So you see how, we get right up in here, it resizes as you get closer. If I move this little thing here, I can actually pick up this and move it around like so on any given plane. This is super useful if you're just trying to move things into the place really quickly. Looks really good. There you go. So long term, we'll also have surface detection and snapping. And some, we're playing around with some ideas with physics. Now I'm going to add in one of my favorite, favorite assets here. It's a really big whale. Because <laughs> again, this is VR. So I'm going to move him over here, like so. Maybe like here. Move him over here. Maybe bring him down a little bit. And there you go. Now. All right, so one thing about this guy is he's, he's physically big, obviously, and he's kind of scary, actually. But, uh, but he's also huge. This is a really, really intricate, large asset, and he's actually moving right now in the editor, and I promise you I'm not getting sick. Frame rate is still good. All right, one more thing. So this is direct manipulation. I touched on this a little bit earlier. You can actually just pick up objects and move them around. You don't have to use the gizmo. We can scale them up. I can make them as big as this whale. But for now, I think I'm going to make them a little, little pocket-sized puppy, like so. There you go. 
Easy. Um, and since we have this gigantic whale here, uh, I should probably check check the. Uh... <laughs> All right. I said I said we're rethinking the interface, but we know you guys want this. So here you go. Ta-da! <laughs> Started, but uh, we'd love to hear feedback from devs about what things you actively want to be are now. Labs at unity3d.com, email us, we'll get it.